Welcome back to the Tasmania series. This was a trip that I took with Andrew Dawes and Richard Lefroy last year. We travelled around and photographed some of the incredible landscapes across Tasmania. Well, I'm really excited to announce that I'm headed back there this year with Andrew Dawes and we're going to run some landscape photography workshops and we'd love for you to join us. So if you're interested in the opportunity to photograph some of the unique and stunning landscapes of Tasmania, then check out the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy the video. Just can't find me. Cannot find me, it has now. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Nelson Falls. So we had a good night's sleep in the van, around about 20, 25k away from the falls themselves. Got up, had some breakfast, and uh, we've made our way down to the car park for the falls. This walk actually isn't all that hard. It's actually uh, graded as easy uh, with wheelchair access which is uh, quite nice so it looks like the path follows uh, the river so we'll just make our way up here and i'm sure we'll find it All right, so we've come to the end of the path and there's definitely a fall here. It's very, very hard to miss. There it is behind me and it is absolutely pumping with water. Um, that is it there. Um, once again, it's raining. There's mist that's being belted off this waterfall and it's gonna make shooting conditions very, very hard. I'd actually prefer there to be a lot less water uh, because even at a quick shutter speed of a third or a quarter of a second it is just going to be quite a lot of water and it'll be just and it'll just be all washed out you can't pick your conditions for this fall it's probably better to come in summer to be honest or maybe um, early summer just as it's starting to, to to dry up just a little you I think you just need a little bit uh, less water falling over it but it is an impressive waterfall nonetheless to uh, to walk down to the base of and to witness so I'm really glad I'm here to uh, to soak all of this in despite the conditions I'm going to try and get some footage of the waterfall nonetheless to be able to show you 
And of course, while I'm here, I'll see whether I can capture an image of this as well. But it is going to be challenging. There's a lot of water. So I need to find some sort of foreground interest, I think, to, to be able to anchor that and to go for a fairly quick shutter speed. See how we go. I've walked much closer to the waterfall now and uh, I'm just being belted with the spray that's coming off it. So uh, just to give you a bit of an idea of how difficult the conditions are gonna be, uh, I don't hold up a lot of faith that uh, the image I'm gonna be able to capture is gonna be clean or, uh, or sharp. The, the mist is going to definitely affect the quality of the image, uh, which is unfortunate. But uh, it really is magnificent. Very, very cold here. The water that's coming off is making my hands cold and my face cold, but uh, quite exhilarating at the same time. Whew. Unbelievable. just come back a couple of meters I've just ducked behind this log just for a little bit of protection I got my bag down here and I'm setting up my camera because I don't want to be out in the uh, in the mist while I'm setting it up I got the 17 to 35 I've got the circular polarizer on the front because I'll try and engage that to try and uh, cut down any glare I've got a spot worked out where there are two small waterfalls that I'll use as some foreground interest. I'll put a bag over the hole, lens and camera. I'll get my exposure right, work out my composition, and then start taking photos. Hopefully at around about half a second, third of a second, quarter of a second. I'll play around there. Approximately uh, F8, F10 is what I'm thinking in my head as I'm going out and trying, trying to shoot this, but if it doesn't look right, I'll adjust accordingly. There's no guarantee that I'll get an image from this spot because the conditions are so hard. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to try and uh, we'll see how it turns out, eh? Let's go. So I've dried myself off and I've dried my gear off best I can and I've walked back away from the waterfall just where it's a little bit quieter, a little bit more protected. I'm not getting much spray here but I'm still getting a little bit of the rain. I've just found a tranquil little area under the fern trees here where I'm getting some of the little running brooks that come off the main stream just running through the ferns and the fallen logs. As far as the composition is concerned I'm using these logs that are in the foreground of the shot to anchor the image, giving a nice leading line into what are predominantly two little uh, brooks that come off the main river here. One of them is uh, that brook over there, which is framed nicely with the, uh, with the rock on the right-hand side. There's a series of ferns. Some more rocks and then there is another little brook just over here and the water that is coming from both of those are crossing through down to the right hand side of the image and again creating a nice leading line at the top of the image I'm using these fronds just to frame the image and of course in the distance I've got the this amazing um, rainforest that we've walked through to get up to the falls itself. I'm still using the 17 to 35 and I'm pretty wide at around about 17 just to try and capture as many of the ferns and there are two main brooks here that I'm trying to get within the image. I've got the polarizer on to try and cut down any of the glare that's coming off either the surface of the water, there's the wet rocks, the moss and also all of the leaves are wet so there's glare there also. I'm on ISO 250 
uh, because it is still pretty dark here even though it's midday it's very very overcast I'm on f8 and I'm using several different shutter speeds I'm using a quick shutter speed of one third of a second to capture the detail in the flowing water and I'm also taking several shots at a slower shutter speed again to try and capture the detail in those darker areas underneath the rock underneath the ferns I'll look at it all in Lightroom and put an image together using several different images so I'm just on the last image now we'll take that and we'll see what it looks like I'm not too sure where Richard and Andrew have got to. We've kind of split up as we walk towards the waterfall. But if you do want to check out their version of this adventure, then go to Richard Lefroy's channel and Andrew Dawes's channel. I'll link their channels in the description below. Well, I'm not too sure whether that worked. That was crazy. Quite exhilarating being so close to the waterfall, but um, not great conditions to take photos in. Uh, my camera's wet, the vlogging camera's wet. I am absolutely saturated. And to be honest, I don't think any of the images that I took uh, are gonna work out. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, but hey, it was, it was fun to try, fun to give these things a go. I'm gonna move just back a little bit and uh, try and dry this stuff off. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like below. And if you're new to the channel, check out some of my other videos about my landscape adventures. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload my next video. But until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching. Things got wet. <laughs>